Uh, welcome back, chemists. This is a video to go over seven and eight a little bit more with the percent compositions uh, of hydrates worksheet. So there were a couple questions and I wanted to go ahead and explain how to solve these one more time, even though you can see the work that's online. And so the first question, question seven, is saying something about having 12.55 grams of a particular compound. And you can choose which compounds you work from. And maybe that's where some of the confusion is coming from. Let's go ahead for me for this example. And let's say that this is our calcium, uranyl, carbonate, pentahydrate. And I'm just gonna call that the one with uranium. The one with uranium. And from there, if we're trying to find out how much metal is in this, let's do the calcium first. You would multiply that starting number by your percent of calcium. So we have in this compound 7.70 percent calcium. Well, what that percent really means is that it really means per 100 of the one with uranium, the one with you. And it's not just 7.70 over 100, it's 7.70 grams of calcium over 100 grams of this whole compound. So if you had 100 grams of this whole compound, you would expect to find 7.7 .7 grams of calcium. Because we only have 12.55 grams, we would expect to find much less than the 7.70. .70. So this then is a conversion factor, and we can just plug this into a calculator. Plug in 12.55 times 7.70 .70 divided by 100 gives me 0 0.966 grams of calcium. Now, I rounded tier to three sig figs because my percentage only has three significant figures. To continue this, you could also find the grams of uranium. And so for this one, there's also 45.75% uranium in the compound, which means there are 45.75 grams of uranium for every 100 grams of the compound, the one with you. So again, on the calculator, 12.55 times 45.75 divided by 100. So in this, there are 5.742 grams of uranium. Now I'm going ahead and going to the fourth significant figure because there were four significant figures in my mass percent, okay? If I wanted to do this one for water, the water question says if you have 13.27 grams of your particular compound, How much of it is water? Well, in this case, we had 17.32% water. Again, percent, remember, is always gonna be per 100. And then we wanna have similar units here, the one with uranium. So again, 13.27 on the calculator times 17.32 divided by 100. I get 2.298 grams of water for the sample. So the key here really is that these percents can be conversions and those numbers you can see came from my molar mass table worth of work that I did for that compound. I didn't work every single thing out here. I didn't work out the carbonate part and I didn't work out the oxygens that came from the uranyl 
but I worked out the two metals and I worked out the water. And so that's where those numbers are coming from. When you determine your mass percents for those or your percent composition of the compound, those percents can then also be used as conversion factors here. So if you have the grams and you have the percents already, then you can easily use these mass percents as conversions. So I hope this is a little bit more helpful for helping you see where those values come from for these conversions. And probably the confusing part with seven is that you could do almost anything for those compounds. I would pick four compounds and find the metal amount, and then you do a different four compounds to find the water. And the idea there was that that way people were more likely to have different compounds that they were doing for practice. You could do both the metal and the water at the same time. 